प्रधानमंत्री पुष्पकमल दाहाल प्रचंड ने जलवायु परिवर्तन को असर भोग्परे भयपूर्ण अवस्था को अंत्य होने संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ को जलवायु परिवर्तन संबंधी सम्मेलन शनिवार आज यूएई में संबोधन करते प्रधानमंत्री प्रचंड ने जलवायु परिवर्तन में शून्य योगदान हुई इसको गंभीर असर भोग्परे भयपूर्ण अवस्था को अंत्य होने जलवायु परिवर्तन को गंभीर असर जस्ते बाढ़ी पहरो डेलो हिमपात विस्फोट जस्ता समस्या ने जनता भोग्परे वहां प्रधानमंत्री प्रचंड ने जलवायु परिवर्तन ने भोग्परे असर का लगी आर्थिक राविधिक सहायता आवश्यक रहे धारणा राख्भ पेरिश समझौता अनुसार पृथ्वी को तापक्रम एक दशमलव पांच डिग्री सेल्सियस में सीमित करने प्रतिबद्धता कार्यान्वयन कर ढिला भईस हिमाल में ठूल असर पर्ने रकट देखा पड़े वहां भाइजिंग टेम्परेचर in the himalayas we have already lost one third of our glacier and scientists have warned that we are going to lose another one third by the end of this century this is a wake up call to all of us the himalayas are foundation of human civilization ecosystem and biodiversity they are providing global services to the people and the planet and are the source of livelihood for for billions of people downstream madam president nepal is bearing a direct disproportionate disproportionate the damaging effect of climate change despite despite near zero contribution to global emission due to an appalling injustice inflicted on us our people are severely affected by climate induced disasters such as landslide floods wildfire glacier lake outburst drought etc recently i un- unveiled the national adaptation plan and ndc implementation guideline which clear with clear road map and strategies Nepal is fully committed to the Paris agreement we are committed to achieving a net zero greenhouse gas emission by 2045 five years earlier than the global target we will fully utilize our hydropower potential to secure the clean energy and maintain 45% forest covered land however our attempts to implement climate change adaptation and mitigation plans are facing serious financial and technical technological gaps ldcs are more vulnerable to the impact of the climate change and are in desperate need of financial and technological support as the chair of the ldcs i urge the developed economies and international community for more predictable predictable adequate and equitable resource and technologies for ldcs countries like nepal are left behind to li- live on their own fate therefore i want to reiterate the following points number 1 developed countries pledges and action do not correspond with their with each other they must raise their ambitions and fulfill their commitment urgently number 2 they must scale up climate finance to make up for the us dollar 100 billion shortfall and double the adaptation finance by 2025 मंग्सर चौदह गतेदी सुरू भारत कोप अट्ठाईस सम्मेलन मंग्सर छब्बीस गतेसम चलने 